Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to condemn intimidation tactics of pro-abortion activists. Since the very day the Dobbs versus Jackson decision was illegally leaked, acts of violence against pregnancy centers, places of worship, and other pro-life institutions have skyrocketed. Cases of vandalism, harassment, firebombings, and physical assaults have been reported all across the country, in communities big and small. In addition to the actual acts, these violent acts amount to intimidation of those individuals that need the services provided by these pro-life, faith-based organizations. Not only has President Biden and his administration failed to condemn these attacks, but his Department of Justice has also refused to take any action to identify and prosecute those that have committed these crimes. This is curious considering the way that this administration has been weaponized against so many American citizens that haven't committed any crimes at all. Over 100 attacks have taken place in the last eight months alone. Every member of Congress, Republican and Democrat, should join in condemning the violence of these extremists. The rule of law matters, the sanctity of life matters, and equal justice matters.